Hi, it's me, Tutor Binod. In this video, we are going to talk about the significant figures. Significant figures are all digits, including the uncertain ones, which are is in the given numbers. There are certain rules to follow in order to find how many significant figures does a number carry. Rule number one, read from the left to the right, starting with first non-zero. Whenever you are given with the decimals with zeros in the beginning, you have to start counting from the number which is first non-zero. In this case, the first non-zero term is 2, so we should start or we must start count, start counting from 2. So 1, 2, 3. So its significant figure is 3. All non-zero digits are significant. Whenever you are given such a number uh, like this, all the digits which are not zero, so these three are not zero, so these are significant. Zeros between non zero digits are significant. Whenever there is zero between two non zero, it's significant. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight significant figure in this case. Zeros at the beginning are never significant. If you are given the zeros in the beginning of the non-zero terms, they are not significant. In this case, there are three zeros before the non-zero digit before there are three zeros before the non-zero so these zeros before the non-zero or before the number they are not significant so we have only two significant figure in this case the fifth rule is zeros at the end are significant only if a number contains a decimal point so if a number contains a decimal point the zeros at the last will count so in this example there is a decimal point over here so these two zero also count therefore our significant figure is one two three four four significant figure but the problem arises when you have the exponent or the scientific notation kind of terms so in this kind of scientific notation you just ignore the exponent term and focus on the earlier number and follow the same rule as we would follow a verb so in this case we have we have point over here or decimal over here this zeros after decimal will count so we have one two three significant figure whereas in this case we have put one more zero at the last of this number since we have the decimal sign over here zeros after the decimal will count so we have four significant figure as you can see here similarly if we have added another zero since the zeros after decimal will count so we have five significant figures in this way we can find the significant figures of the given numbers this is very important for the examination point of view now let us see about the unit conversion let me make you familiar with few SI units or standard units the length is measured in meters also no denoted by M mass is measured in kilogram kz temperature is measured in Kelvin K Luminous intensity is measured in candela city. Time is measured in second. As amount of substance is measured in mole, which will come in later chapters. Electric current is measured in ampere. A. So before converting the unit to another unit, we should know the conversion factor. Conversion factor consists of a factor or the fraction which contains two kind of unit, but both the quantity are same just different in units so it's equal when you say thousand meter and one kilometer 
they both are equal the only thing is one is in kilometer one is in meter so you should know the conversion factor and use according to your desired result similarly we have 100 centimeters and 1 meter it's a conversion factor 2.54 centimeter is equivalent to 1 inch whereas 12 inch is equivalent to 1 foot Simil similarly 60 minutes is equivalent to 1 hour 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds 1000 milligram is equivalent to 1 liter and 1000 gram is equivalent to 1 kilogram these are very vital conversion factors in order to get the desired unit when you are given certain units you put the conversion factor you multiply the given units terms by the conversion factor according to your wants the desired unit in the conversion factor must be on the numerator side whereas the denominator part should be of the given unit so that your given units are cancelled and it will give us the desired unit this is how we convert units it's very important in chemistry as well as other physical science let us do some conversion we are supposed to convert 2000 meter to kilometer let us write 2000 meter now we are supposed to convert it to kilometer so our desired unit is kilometer so let me put kilometer on top now let us do few problems regarding unit conversion i am supposed to convert 2000 meters to kilometer since my desired output is kilometer i will put kilometer on the numerator side of the conversion factor whereas the denominator will be meter so you know that one kilometer is equal to thousand meter so this will be my conversion factor so i would my meter is cancelled so this three zero is cancelled by this so two thousand meter is equivalent to two times one is two kilometer this is how you convert units now let us convert two liters to milliliter so the question gives me two liters but i have to put conversion factor in such a way that i can have milliliter on the desired output so i put milliliter on the top whereas i put liter on the denominator side so what's the conversion factor between milliliter and liter we know that thousand milliliter is equivalent to one liter so my liter is gone so it's 2000 milliliter this is how you convert liters to milliliters now let us do relatively tougher problem we are supposed to convert two years into seconds it seems challenging but believe me it's not so the unit is two years it it's a series of conversion because we cannot convert years directly to second so first of all we have to convert year to days and days to hours hour to minute and minute finally to second that's the path so two years let me convert it into days first because because I need because I want to get rid of years so I put year on the bottom side whereas day on the top side so what's the conversion factor between year and day it's 365 days is equal to one year now this this year is gone now I am left with days but do I need my days in the answer no I need seconds so now I have conversion between days and hours so I need hours so I put hour on top whereas days on bottom so one day is equivalent to how many hours 24 hours now again day is gone now I have to convert hour to minutes but I want to get rid of hours so I put hour on the denominator side whereas minute in my top side or numerator we I know that 60 minute is equivalent to one hour 
now hour is also gone finally I can move from minute to second which is my desired output which I put on the top and I put minute on the denominator side so that I can get rid of this minute but I know that one minute is equivalent to 60 second now the process is complete as I can get second from all these conversion factors now I can use my calculator in order to find the equivalent number which is 6372 and three zeros so if I convert two years I will get this many seconds year to second we can do from second to year by reversing the process I want you to try by yourself now let us do our final problem regarding conversion sometimes you are given uh, the speed or this kind of units which might seem tougher but it is not because we are given as 2 meter per second so let us do part by part how can you convert meter to kilometer 2 meter to kilometer as I need kilometer I would put conversion factor in such a way that I have kilometer on top whereas I have meter on bottom I know that 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1000 meter so my answer would be 2 over 1000 it's 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilometer similarly if I want to convert one second to hour I would first convert second to minute because I have the conversion factor of second to minute which is easier as I need minute I put minute on top whereas I put second on bottom as we know that 60 second is equal to one minute but eventually I want hour and I have the minute versus hour conversion factor as I need hour I put hour on top I need I do not need meter minutes so I put minute on bottom so 60 minute is equivalent to one hour so this will give me 1 over 60 times 60 so 60 times 60 is 3600 2.7 into 10 to the power negative 4 this will be in hour now 2 meter per second to kilometer per hour as 2 meter is equivalent to 2 into 10 to the power negative 3 kilometer and 1 second is equivalent to 2.72 in fact 2.78 times 10 to the power negative 4 so if I divide 2 times 10 to the power negative 3 over 2.78 into 10 to the power negative 4 I would get 7.19 kilometer per hour 7.19 kilometer per hour so that's how we do this kind of problem I hope this video helps you understand significant figure and unit conversion also if you have not yet subscribed my channel I humbly request you to do so so that you can never miss my future updates stay safe and healthy Thank you.